Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with part one of a Grand Ages Medieval Let's Play. So, this time around, we're going to be doing something very similar to what we did in the First Impressions video. Um, if you're curious about my opinion on the game, I would suggest watching that. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into my thoughts on the pros and cons of the game in this. I'm just going to you know, do a Let's Play solely for entertainment value, so if you're looking for more of a review or an impressions video, obviously watch my first look video. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be doing an open game. I'm going to use the same crests and everything here. <clears throat> and I think we're going to stick to the same settings because I did kind of like the, uh, the isolation that um, London is in. Where, you know, if you start out in Europe here, there's a lot of stuff going on. And out here, other than Leeds, there really wasn't a whole lot around. We had Leeds up above us, uh, Glasgow above them, well, north of them, and then uh, Dublin. But they were all fairly far apart, and so it leaves me a lot of room for expansion. Um, not only by annexing them, but by building cities of my own in that general vicinity. Um... Let's just, yeah, let's leave everything as is. I think, I don't know if I'm quite ready for normal yet, but it's not like I get wiped out immediately, so it should be fine. Um, again, the the AI seems to have enough trouble keeping their budget under control that they aren't very aggressive. So we'll just leave it at that. And I think 30,000 or 300,000 is more than enough. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. So, we'll be trying to build up an empire of Britannia in this. I'm going to skip through this tutorial here because, uh, as you guys saw in the previous video, I'm fairly well versed in the controls here. I am going to change the game speed to zero right now so we can kind of get set up. Um, and so, the first thing we need to do is we need to choose our three development choices. And so, I'm going to do exactly what I suggested that you do in the first impressions video, which is take one of the second tier production uh, resources right off the bat. So um, for the bakery you need honey and wheat. Um, I generally don't go after this one because it requires two basic resources where a lot of the rest of these only require one. So um, my suggestion would be either the brewery, pottery, or the butchery. Um, we don't have access to salt, so that's not going to be a good choice. Uh, I don't think we have access to coal, so pottery is not going to be a good choice either. The best choice for us right now is probably going to be brewery, because we do have access to wheat. Um, we don't have, I think we do have access to honey, but we're not actively producing it, so we would have to swap something else out for it. Um, and I don't think that's going to be a good idea. So we're going to take that. And now we have two points left. Um, building trade, I don't think that's going to be useful just yet. Uh, settlement construction one, I think, will be very useful. So what this does is it gives you... Um, it basically reduces the cost to build a new city. Um, at least the production facilities in that city. So I'm going to take that one as well. And then over here, let's see. Worker trek. Hmm trade enables the new route type manual for trade routes through which the actual values for the trade can be set interesting hmm these are provided to the new town okay that's cool uh, storage technology I think is gonna be a good choice I think this is exactly what we chose in the first impressions video but that's fine. It's definitely, I think, probably the best assortment of options to go with this early. And so now what we need is we don't actually have a trader, which I always find interesting. You don't start with one. Um, so a settler would be nice, but we don't have enough grain yet. Builders would be great as well, but we don't have enough population yet. And so we'll just build a trader for now. And let's see, production, we'll need to change these slightly because we do not want wool being produced. We want uh, beer being produced, or ale, or whatever they call it in this game. Uh, close, please. And then we will go here. We'll deselect that. And so, yeah, we do have access to honey. However, we would have to get rid of one of these 
beer is going to sell for more. So I think that's going to be the smarter choice. Um, we can always have one of our other cities manufacturing honey. And then one thing we could do is we could uh, build one of these here, but I don't know if that's going to be a good choice just yet. Let's see. Uh, we have everything we need. And that does limit the size of our town, but we're not anywhere close to 3,000 yet. We are at 500, so... Mm, you know what, we have plenty of money right now. Maybe let's just go ahead and do it while we have the capital. And I think right there is where we are going to go ahead and get the clock rolling. So I'm going to do it at one times, because we're going to play this a little bit more seriously than we did uh, before. So I'm not going to rush through things just to show you everything. We're going to take our time here and be smart about stuff. And so as soon as we get our trader done, we'll know right here as well as uh, right here. Um, and actually, I'm going to start sending my scout bad. up and around to discover these cities. Because you do need to discover them before you can trade with them. Let's get on with it. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so let's, let's head up here. It. What's this saying? Oh, yeah, our running cost. Well, we just spent a bunch of money on a couple things, so that makes sense. Welcome. Okay, so let's May go ahead and... Be beneficial to me. Oh, apparently, so these guys do change. Um, I was wondering if they were just tied to the city, because the last couple times I ran into certain cities, they had the same or very similar um, mayors. Let's try to get a... Peace agree oh, we already have a trade agreement with them. Okay, so a trade agreement wouldn't be a bad idea, or a peace agreement wouldn't be a bad idea, though. Um, although it's not super concerning right now. You're off. Okay, so let's up this just a touch. See if he'll go for that. You're off. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to offer him 10. Okay, so there's a peace agreement. Let's run up to that. Glasgow and get a trade agreement from them. And looks like our trader isn't quite ready yet. No problem. Okay, We're so he's there. completely neutral. Let's go ahead and get a trade agreement here. Let's find. You have a good offer for me. Actually, we have to get the transit agreement first. See if he'll take that. You're asking. Uh, he wants a little bit more. Have a good offer for me. You're asking for two. Mm. You have These a guys good are being kind of stingy. Me. I feel like we were able to get it for less last time around. This offer looks right. So there's that. And then do I need? To, can I do it immediately? No, I have to wait a little bit. Yourself. We're practically there. I have to wait a little bit. So let's head over to uh, we're practically there. Dublin. We'll get a trade agreement from them. Let's get on with it. My trader is ready, so I'm going to get him rolling here. Actually, let's add some carts. And then, let's see, what do we have? Oh, we don't have anything to trade yet. How are we doing here? We don't have enough grain. We should have more than enough. Oh, it's not built yet, that's why. Why isn't this built yet? I guess I didn't remember to do that. Um, diplomacy request from Dublin. Good Let's day. see. He'll I pay me for transit that agreement. That is perfect. This and that actually raised my um, sympathy with him too, which is great. Maybe he'll pay me for a trade agreement as well. It's nearby. Actually, I'm going to run around and discover this. Oh, too late. Okay, yeah, we don't have anything to sell quite yet. Uh, this is done. How does our consumption look now? Yeah, we should be producing just enough. And if we need to, we can increase that. I would really like to get, actually is it worth constructing another one of these? I think it is. Let's build one more of those. 
So we'll double our grain production in the hopes that let's get on with it. Uh, we'll be able to produce our beer a little bit quicker. Ooh, it's nearby. Stone circle. Let's check that out. In the middle of a stone circle, your unit sets up camp. It doesn't take long until one of your men finds some hidden commodities. They will be sent to London instantly so they can be sold on the market. Awesome. Oh, we got coal. Perfect. It's Let's run over here and grab this, too. These are great ways to get free resources. And we can actually sell this coal for quite a bit. So we have a lot of it. But it might be worth um, hanging on to. Actually, let's sell let's sell 50 barrels of it, just because we can make a lot of money off of that. Okay, no if problem. you would grab that, that would be great. Where is it? Right there. It's nearby. As soon as your troop approaches the tent, an old veteran steps outside and says, Well, new pupils, come over here and I'll teach you something. So for 9,000 gold, we get 100 experience. I don't know if that's unit experience or if that's just overall experience. Um, that is quite a bit of money, though. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Why not? We're practically there. I do need to watch my spending here, though. Let's get on with it. Okay, we'll just discover the rest of Ireland. Looks like there's ooh a commodity pile. Perfect. It's nearby. Some metals. So we're getting a bunch of free resources it's nearby. here. Looks like our trader hasn't quite arrived yet. Oh, another one. Almost there. Wooden shack. What's this all about? Some former soldiers have set up camp close to an old shack. As your troop is at full strength, there isn't anyone who could follow you. Okay. So it's just like a no little recruiting point there. Uh, a cart. Apparently Ireland is just full of resources. Shortly before your troop arrives at the destination, there's some bandits storm towards your men shouting, We were here first. Okay, so we should eventually win that battle. I'll just leave it and let them deal with it. There isn't really anything you can do other than just let it happen or run away. Uh, let's see, that's almost done. How are we looking here? We still haven't produced really any beer, which is a little bit frustrating. I don't know why. Grain. Yeah, we're producing more than enough grain. So what's, what's the hang-up? Let's speed things up here. And we'll sell them quite a bit of coal. Apparently they need all of it, so I'll sell them all of it. And then I think, do they have anything that they have too much of? No, they don't. So Exquisite. let's head back to London. This isn't quite settled yet. I wish there was some better indication of what's going on. Basically just tells you, okay, you have more units than them. But doesn't really tell you much beyond that. So what else can we do over here? This isn't quite halfway. This is almost ready. Uh, I imagine the beer issues will handle themselves once we have this built. And we could go sell some metal. It's not going to get very much... It's not going to fetch very much in Leeds because they are producing metal, I think. Yes, they are, actually. Okay. Good to know. That means we can buy metal from them. Wow, they're actually producing a lot of second-tier goods. So we might have to buy stuff from them pretty consistently. Because we're producing a lot of first-tier goods. However, they're not really producing any food, which I think will work to our advantage. Yeah, they're not producing lumber, and they're not producing any food. So we will be able to sell them quite a bit of food. Although... Damn it, they're producing beer too. God, they've already ranked all these up. Maybe I should do the same. Let's see. I know lumber is generally a hot commodity. So let's... Oops. Let's build another lumber yard. Oh, and that's actually really cheap. Um, let's see. Bricks would be good. This is going to fetch us quite a bit of cash because nobody else is making food in the area. Can I see what they're making now? Are you done yet? Ah. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Let's, uh... Oh, it pauses when I'm in that window, so let's not do that. Speed things up here. 
And let's check it again. Almost done. This is taking quite a while. This is going to surpass it. Um, we'll just keep selling coal, I guess, since we have so much of it. Apparently, we really don't need, like, any, so... I'll grab another 50, and let's see, we'll get like 50 metal. We'll sell the coal to Leeds, and we'll see if Glasgow needs the metal. This is still happening over here. Let's see, we have builders, but we don't really have anywhere that needs roads. Okay, so there's that. How are we doing here? You should be producing... Oh, you haven't filled in your workers yet. That's why. I was going to say, you should be producing 40 now at least. But it doesn't appear to be filling in very quickly. That battle is still going on. Apparently they killed one of my... My scouts, but that's okay, because we should be able to recruit a new one here. If they lose this, I'm going to be very upset. Because I'm going to have to build a new one. And there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to win this. Although it seems like he's getting his butt kicked right now. Whatever. Let's speed this up. And let's see, we'll sell them more coal. They don't need the metal. Um, they don't really have anything for sale just yet. So let's see if... Oh, I don't have a trade agreement there yet. Shoot. Could use you right now. Hmm, there's not really any way for me to deal with them. Short of sending someone over there, which... Shoot. Might need another scout, but I think I can only have one at a time. Okay, we're up to 40 there. So, yeah, we should be cranking out beer now. Hmm. I think food's going to be worth upgrading as well. So let's go ahead and build one of those. Huh, we're kind of stuck right now. This sucks. I should probably just flee with him, but it won't let me select him. There we go. Let's go ahead and Let's just flee. Disappear. Oh, he's going to run all the way back to London. That's fine. At least we can move around with him. And how are we doing here? This is almost done. This is, this is going to help us out quite a bit, because not only is lumber needed for just about everything, um, our neighbor here decided not to build it, so we can constantly sell them lumber. So basically we can produce as much as we see fit, and there's always going to be a use for it. Uh, yeah, he's going to run all the way back here. So I'm thinking, as far as our next city goes... Building like right here might be a good idea, or maybe over here. Uh, let's send him back out because I really need a trade agreement right now no with them. Because we're losing money this you know this whole time we're not trading. How are we looking here? Not quite enough to start selling that stuff off yet. We could sell more of the uh, metal and coal though. But since I already have some, I may as well wait until we get a trade agreement up there. But yeah, I'm thinking like right here for our next town, or somewhere in this area, but I think building it fairly close by so that we can shuttle resources back and forth would probably be the best choice. I wish I could That's like slowly work this guy up the road while we wait. Um, you wish to discuss let's submit an offer. Have a good offer for me. Trade agreement for what, eight thousand? You're up. Mm. You have a good offer for These guys me. Are playing hardball today. Okay, so he's done there. Almost there. Let's scout the rest of this out. Already on the way. Almost there. And we'll head up here and scout this out. 
And then I think what we'll do is we'll Almost send there. him back to that uh, shack and have him recruit another scout. It's nearby. And then we'll be back up to full strength and we can send him to uh, Almost mainland there. Europe and have him see what's going on down there. Although I don't think I'm going to necessarily agree to any We're trade agreements there. down there. Because in the past, when I was playing, um, I negotiated with one of the other you know, rival kingdoms, or whatever you call them. And they basically just like flooded my, uh, flooded my markets with stuff I didn't need and like ruined the prices of everything. So these guys are making coal, that's good to know. But they'll need metal. So if these guys start producing enough metal, we could actually Explicit. buy from them and sell to them. Be making money off goods that aren't even ours. We're practically there. Okay, how are we looking here? Yeah, let's start selling some more of this. I mean, we know we have two potential buyers for it now. Okay, so he is back to full strength. Let's run down no here. Problem. We'll scout the whole mainland of England out, and then I think we'll send him south to France. Let's see, what are you waiting for? Certain. Um, how are we doing on production? This isn't quite ready yet. Beer's not at a level that we can start selling it off. Um, let's see, consumption-wise, how are we doing? I think, so if I bump that up to two for beer, we'll need, what, 20? So I think that would be a safe bet. I should I should look at upgrading this too because these are needed for just about everything. Yeah, I think that's going to be a smart choice there. And then here, it's going to be a little bit more expensive, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run. So we'll just rank everything up to two. It seems to be what the AI is doing, and generally the We're AI does there. the most efficient course of action. So I think leveling ours no up will be a smart choice. Oh, a campfire. Let's see what that is. Let's see. Your men are facing some fully laden carts and a group of traveling merchants who are taking a break. They don't waste any time in offering a trade. Ah, customers, come over, come over here and look at my goods. Sadly, only 14 barrels of fish is left. But if you take everything, I'll make sure, I'll make you a good price and I'll deliver it to London. Um, let's go ahead and do that. We don't have fish available, so we got 14 barrels of fish there. Which uh, we could potentially trade. No, no. Apparently, we need that. It's nearby. So it is considered food, and we are only making fruit right now. Let's speed things along, and we'll send you into France. And we'll go discover Paris first, and then we'll no kind problem. of wander around. Do you need to be careful though, because the scout is the only one who can grab those um, Let's get on with those it. little beacons or whatever. So, we don't want to be passing up on those We're and letting other people there. grab them. So there's Paris. I'm not going to negotiate with them. It's nearby. Because they are part of somebody else's uh, no problem. kingdom. These guys are neutral. But I think I will hold off. We're practically there. Looks like there's some more cities down here. We're practically there. I wish this game really needs like an auto wander button like Civ has Let's for the scouts it. because it takes way too much of my time to like sit here and tell him where to go. Okay, so the trader is back. Let's trade more of this. How much can we trade? Okay, so if I do like a hundred, we should be fine. We'll do 94 because that puts me right at two barrels. How about here? Um, let's see, 128, and then 20, 18, okay, so that's basically the most we can sell without paying a premium for it, and it doesn't seem like we really need the goods, no problem. at least not yet, we're not producing anything that requires those. Is there anything in South France? I know there's stuff in Spain. Okay, we can't wander any, no any further past that. 
They have a certain range that they can't go outside of. Almost there. And very soon, I think we should consider uh, building no a problem. settler. Let's see. Suddenly, one of your men came across a chest. He opens it and finds gold treasure. Okay, so we got some money there. Awesome. Because we're spending it way too fast right now. But, I mean, no that's part of getting started. You've got to make early investments that should pay off later. Let's get on with it. Got a campfire down here. Let's see what that's all about. Let's get on with it. Hmm, let's see. Eight wool for 640. Why not? It's nearby. Okay, we can't go any Almost further there. that way. Let's kind of wander up here. Almost there. I think we're getting a little bit low on time, so I'll have to check that in just a second. Um, apparently, he doesn't want to Almost scope there. that out, so we'll just kind of keep going. I think that's just outside of the uh, no problem. radius that he can wander. Almost there. Hit the Appalachian Mountains here. I mean, the, not the Appalachian Mountains. That's in almost there. Like Virginia, the uh, Alps. The other mountain range with an A. It's nearby. Oh, what's this? Oh no, we don't want to do that. No problem. I know that one from last time when I was playing in uh, Western Europe. Almost there. It, you have to deal with a bandit down there. A tent. Let's see what that is. And. Hmm. Okay, so nothing we can do there. Let us sell a bunch of coal. We'll sell 40. Basically, we want to sell everything until we get to 3, so we'll sell them that much. And then Happy let's go look at blood. Glasgow. I'll sell them a bunch of metal. We're practically there. And let's just keep kind of wandering around here. We might be able to dump some of this there. off at Dublin as well. A cart. Now, how are we looking here, production-wise? Why are you running out of grain? We should have more than enough grain. We might have to bump this up to three. Bandits. Great. Let's just go ahead and flee. It's not worth losing one. Let's disappear. Plus, we're running out of uh, running out of uh, distance that we can travel. So, may as well send him home. Let's go ahead and trade as much metals we can get rid of. And like right there is probably the most that we can justify. And apparently they need coal too, so let's sell them coal. And Sir. I guess we'll have to hang on to the metal because I forgot we don't have a trade agreement with them yet. How are we doing here? Still not producing as much as I would like. Uh, they haven't filled in their workers yet, but part of that is that we still have a grain shortage, and I don't really understand that because we're using 27 right now and we're producing 40. So we should have a grain surplus. Hmm. Wish I could see what he has. I don't know what they're trading back and forth. I hope that you offer. And let's see. Where do we stand in regards to a settler? We are very short. So we need 19, well, 89 more workers, a lot more lumber, and a lot more bricks. So that's going to be a while. Uh, production, I mean, trade. Still not doing too well there. And it looks like we used up all of the metal and coal, too, interestingly enough. We didn't have that much left. Oh no, it just says we need it now. Apparently the uh, the people in the town are a little bit short-sighted when it comes to uh, what they'll need. Actually, did they have anything? 
No, nothing for sale. Or nothing worth buying, at least. Again, uh, if you didn't watch the first impressions video, I suggest you do that, but if you don't want to, um, general rule of thumb in this game is you don't buy anything that's two barrels or, two barrels or less, and you don't sell anything if they have two barrels or more of it already. Okay, so it's actually, there. let's have you just completely scout this out here. Let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. And so I'm going to take this moment to uh, go ahead and check the time. So I will be right back. Okay, and as I kind of assumed, we are out of time. So I'm going to go ahead and break the episode off here. Um, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the first episode of this Let's Play. If you did, let me know in the comments. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, feel free to share my videos as you see fit, as always. And I will see you guys back here for part two of our Grand Ages Medieval London Let's Play.